Welcome everyone to the first episode of Podcast with Anything. Today we have a guest who's, well, let's just say they're always up before dawn. Please welcome the one and only Alarm Clock. Thank you, thank you so much. Some people see you as a necessary evil, others as a motivator. So how do you feel about that? I get it, believe me. Would you rather be snuggled up in bed or facing the day? But hey, someone's gotta do the dirty work. And trust me, I'd much rather wake you up with a pleasant chime than have you miss your morning coffee and turn into a grumpy monster. You're welcome. Ah, that's a good answer. So what's the most common excuse you hear for hitting the snooze button? Oh, where do I even begin? Five more minutes, just one more dream. The classic, I didn't hear you. But let's be real, they hear me. They just think they can outsmart me. Spoiler alert, they can't. So what's the funniest thing you've ever seen someone do when they woke up to your alarm? Oh, that's a good one. Once, I saw this guy wake up, completely disoriented, and start frantically searching for his phone. He was so confused, it was like he'd been transported to another dimension overnight. He finally found it and turned off the alarm, but then he just sat there, staring at the wall, for a good five minutes. I still wonder if he ever figured out what happened. What advice do you have for people who struggle to wake up in the morning? Listen, it's all about routine. Go to bed at a reasonable time, avoid screens before sleep, and have a consistent wake-up time, even on the weekends. But if all else fails, try a little motivational talk to yourself. You got this. Sometimes, that's all it takes. What is your favorite thing about being an alarm clock? I love that I get to play a role in helping people achieve their dreams. Whether it's a big presentation or a simple morning workout, I'm the first one to help them get started. And that's a pretty rewarding feeling, even if it's just a little beep. Do you ever feel guilty when someone slams you against the wall in frustration? I understand that sometimes people are just having a bad day. I'm not here to judge, but I would appreciate it if they wouldn't take it out on me. I'm just trying to do my job, even if it's not always the most popular one. It's all in the name of helping people achieve their full potential, right? What's the funniest excuse someone gave you for oversleeping? Oh, the creativity knows no bounds. From blaming me for not being loud enough to blaming the pet for hiding me, the excuses are endless. What's your opinion on naps during the day? Naps are like my kryptonite, but hey, a quick power nap now and then keeps things interesting. Gotta recharge the batteries, right? What do you think about loud alarms? Oh, I'm all for them. Those blaring sounds do wonders. It's like having a marching band in your bedroom. Just be mindful of your neighbors. Some of them might not appreciate your early morning concern as much. We have a game segment where I'll share two facts about the history of alarm clocks, one true and one false. Your job is to figure out which one is the true fact. Are you ready to test your knowledge about your own history? Yes, I'm ready. Fact number one. The first mechanical alarm clock was invented by Levi Hutchins in 1787. Fact number two. The snooze button was a feature on the first alarm clock. I think fact number one is the correct answer. You're absolutely correct 10 points your way. Fact number one, the first known alarm clock that could be set was created by Antoine Redier in the 1847. Fact number two, the first alarm clock was powered by solar energy. I think fact number one is the correct answer again. Again, that's a correct answer 10 more points your way. Fact number one, the first alarm clock was equipped with a radio. Fact number two, the first alarm clocks used water to produce sound as an alarm. I think fact number two is the correct answer. Once again, you're correct all 30 points your way, you won, congratulations. <laughs> and lastly, any final advice for listeners? Sure, don't procrastinate, set your alarms. Life is too short for five more minutes. And remember, I'm always here to remind you, rise and shine, superstar. Thanks for tuning into our podcast with our favorite alarm clock. If you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button and make sure to like and comment. Until next time, stay punctual.